two minute warning. Rack is clear to start one for our second four run.
between 20 and crossing the finish line for runner number three. Stand by. Let in from start one. This is our third and final four runner before moving into our competitive sled. Now coming down to flip side. Into the Devil's Highway. Through the ladder. Approaching Benham's Bend. Coming through the chicane. Into the heart. Through 18, climbing 19. Climbing our finish curve. And crossing the finish line. Once again, that was the third of three four runs. Mother Greece from the Belgian Authority would like to thank everyone for coming out today, enjoying this beautiful weather. It wouldn't be a Bob Clay World Cup without a snowstorm to some portion of it. Dacă treci pe lângă treaba asta, și pe urmă trebuie numai puțin să-i faci ca să, să nu lupești, să, să eviți, exact, trebuie să eviți treaba asta. Și yeah.
It is the final day of the 23-24 BMW IBS Air Bobsleigh and Skeleton World Cup season. It's crazy to think that in just over a week it will be Easter. And here we are on a very snowy morning in Lake Placid for the final races of the year. Two women bobsleigh this morning and then at lunchtime it'll be time for the four man. Well, what faces them apart from the weather? Luckily, not too much wind behind the snow, so it shouldn't play a big part in proceedings. But the track is tough enough, and with the cold, hard ice the last couple of days, has been pretty tricky to drive. Covered start area, short, sharp, get in and make sure you're set, ready for corner one, because this is a proper turn, not just a little dink. Lana Myers Taylor has the start record with Lauren Gibbs from November 2017. Slow corner two and corner three coming up now. Avoid hitting the wall if you can on the left. Hard to do so. And then down into the Devil's Highway. It was five, six, seven. And then this whipping eight, nine transition, which has caused so many problems. Looks pretty sanguine there. Out of corner 10, Shady two into the labyrinth. This transition, 12.13, has been a tricky one as well. We've seen crashes there. Exiting Benham's Bend, uphill over the outrun, trying to shoot the chicane and then dropping down into the heart. 17, the left, little right-hand dink, 18. 73, 74 miles an hour here. Climbing up through 19. Uphill still through corner 20, and there's the line. Avoid hitting the wall if you can before you get to the line because that just drags speed out of the sled. Lauren Alter of Germany is our World Cup points leader. It seems highly unlikely that anybody can catch her now unless she fails to score at all. But uh, if she finishes the race, then she should do that. It likely that Kim Kalicki and Lisa Bukwitz will take the other Crystal Globes in what has been a season where the Germans have definitely been the dominant force. They haven't had it all their own way, but they are the only three who have won races. There is Lauren Alter. World champion Lisa Bookvis is here. There's Kim Kalicki. Kalicki with two wins in Lillehammer and Sigulda. Only been off the podium once. Alana Myers-Taylor, well, her last win here was back in December 2019. No, it wasn't. It was in 2018. She has had... Uh, Two wins on this track, among a handful of medals. Bree Walker for Australia, yesterday's gold medalist in the monobob, her first ever mono win. Melanie Hassler hasn't claimed a podium here. Just raced here once in the World Cup, finished in sixth place. But well, we have 15 sleds in our field. We start with Adele Nicholl and Kaya Placide of Great Britain. Lisa Bookwish, the world champion, goes off fourth. Look out for Cynthia Appiah, Kim Kilicki, Alana Myers-Taylor, yeah, maybe Bree Walker, Keisha Love, Lauren Alter, and maybe even Sylvia Hoffman. Final women's bobsleigh race of the season, and start draw number one for Great Britain's Adele Nichol here in Lake Placid. Martin Haven watching the action with you, Sean Olsen at the back. Kaya Placide, her 19-year-old great woman in her fourth World Cup start. This is the fourth as a driver for Adele. She was a great woman beforehand for World Cup starts with Misha McNeil as well, including a silver medal. Raced in a pair of North America's Cup events a couple of weeks ago, finished in sixth and eighth place, was 10th in the monobob yesterday. It's her first time here in Lake Placid in race trim. Gets away in 5.63. Start record is a 5.34. Hard hit out of corner three. Almost impossible to avoid that. And we try and avoid skidding down into the Devil's Highway. And the 8-9 transition, very tricky. She got through there. 1.12.8. These are the speeds that we're going to be measuring against for the next few sleds. Look how quickly you build speed out of Benham's Bend. Nice chicane. 1.28.9. That's good speed. Through the heart. Out of corner 19. Uphill through corner 20. Avoid slapping the wall and across the line. 56.98.
There's Sean Olsen, the driving coach, developing these young sliders for Team GB. That's 1.1 seconds off the all-time track record set by Jamie Grubel Poser and Asia Evans back in December 2016. And that was one of two wins that Jamie had on this track. Well, this is a run from three down to four. Out of Benham's Bend, into the chicane. Signature corners on this track. And not a bad run through there. Decent height in 17, didn't allow it to climb too high as she got into the heart. All right, looks happy with that. There's Kaya, her brake woman. Next up, Riley Tecek with Jasmine Jones behind her. Riley's sixth World Cup start, her first this season. Finished in 20th in the world in Winterberg. Raced yesterday in the Mono. Last year when we were here, she finished in ninth place, but she got a bronze medal in the Push World Championships. Pretty impressive stuff. Jasmine Jones, 11th World Cup start for her. She's been crashed in the last two. Keisha Love in Segulda and Alana in Altenburg. Race with Riley in the Worlds in Winterberg. Was not crashed there. So they've got a good relationship. Best speed so far. Three tenths back at the start. Oh, eight, nine. That was close. Riley knows the track well, and she's struggling to adapt to the speed today. 1.32, best speed of all. Out of 18, into corner number 18, climbing up to the line. And at the line, 57-67. That was kind of a wild ride for Riley Tecek and Jasmine Jones. Shona Roebuck at the front, Tuffy Latour at the back of the sled, allowing the crew to get out. US Marine Corps officer Riley Tecek living life on the edge. Yikes! Jasmine will have known all about that. The violent transitions and then 12-13 as well. You definitely feel those. There are the ladies. Shana Roebuck, two-time winner on this track, no, two-time medalist on this track, never won on this track. Bianca Ribby next up with Neve Hockey behind her. Fourth place here last year. Her best World Cup bobsleigh result of her career. She was ninth in the Worlds. And she's had two ninth place World Cup results this season. 14th World Cup start for both of these women. Neve has done all but one of her World Cups behind Ribby. Good one with Cynthia Appiah. 572 getaway. Again, not starting as quick as our leaders. You can hear the crackle in the ice. It's really very cold the last few days. Big cold snap. Where the forecast is predicting up to 18 inches of snow over the next 24 hours. Power lines and traffic will likely to be greatly affected, but hopefully not the race. 2400s back, second best at the moment, 3400s back, second best speed. But she should be ahead of Riley Tecek. Across the line, where is she? 57-5-1, so she's 1600s ahead of Riley Tecek. 1800s ahead. Now I was right the first time, 1600s ahead. <laughs> Never trust you, Matt. Never trust mine. Well, this two, these two live in each other's pocket all winter long. They're such a good combination together. Losing out a little at the start. Again, Ribby from her earliest days will have known this track. Track is clear to start one for Lisa Buckwitz of Team Germany.
Lisa Bukvits, our newly crowned world champion, is up next. She is a former winner on this track, but with a head between her knees. Lauren Siebert behind her. Lauren's third World Cup start made her debut in Samaritz. Got a silver ninth with Lisa in Altenburg. Lisa Bukvits, the world champion, of course, the 2018 world, uh, Olympic champion with Mary Army Amanka. 5.49, now that's much more like it. 5.34 is the start record. Thirty-first World Cup start for Lisa Brockwitz, her 14th as a driver. Two gold, two silver and a bronze. She's been on a bit of a medal rampage this year, especially in the monobob. And she was only off the podium at the beginning of the year and at the end. Nice run through the chicane, little skid after that tap, but still the better speed. 129 is 80.2 miles an hour. And across the line with the lead by just 600. Wow. Now, she has raced here before in the front seat. She was fifth last year, Lisa. But she's got more driving experience this track than Adele Nickel but leads the British slider by just six hundredths of a second. <laughs> Full of excitement yesterday. She was so thrilled to win the Monobob Crystal Globe, the season champion. Even though she didn't have the best race, she did enough. She'd had such a stellar season. She's been very impressive in the women's bob. A gold, a silver and a bronze this year and the World Championship gold as well. Next up, Cynthia Appiah for Canada. 25th World Cup start as a driver. Gets her quarter century. Raced here last year to seventh place. Her only World Cup race here as a driver. She's done three NAC races though as well, driving women's bob. And behind her is Late replacement, Mor uh, Ramsey, uh, Morgan Ramsey, beg your pardon, Morgan in for the second time in her career. 24 years old, raced in Altenburg with Cynthia. Leah Walker then had a hamstring injury, had to pull out this morning. This is only the third ever bobsleigh race for Morgan Ramsey. Her debut was in NAC here in Lake Placid in November 2023 behind Eden Wilson. So she's been an alternate all season and has had two race morning call ups. Second best speed for Cynthia Appiah, but at the moment she's behind Bianca Ribby, rattling around there. She had a really good day yesterday in the mono. I'm sure she was hoping to carry that through. Shoots the chicane nicely, and that should help her move up to third place. It's going to be tough to challenge Adele Nickel from there, but she should be behind Lisa Brookmitz and Adele Nickel. Third at the line, 5,400 back. So 5.76 start. And a 57-46. Just allowing the sled to roll back a little. Big height here out of 12 into 13. See Cynthia getting bounced out of the seat. Never, never mind poor Morgan Ramsey in the back. And down through the chicane, she gets a pretty good run. Just a little tap there. Nothing to worry about. No skids. One more run in the season. Lisa Bookwitz, Adele Nichols, Cynthia Appiah are top three. Bronze medalist last year, Kim Kalicki for Germany with Leonie Fiebig behind her. In the, that stage, they're in the middle of a medal grabbing streak that lasted 16 consecutive races. Leonie Fiebig starts her 25th World Cup women's bobsleigh race. 19 medals in those 24 previous races. Kalicki, in her 31 previous World Cup starts, has only been off the podium in four races. 
best start, best velocity by 54. That wasn't quite as quick as uh, Lisa Bookwitz 549, but they've got better velocity now. Closing on Bookwitz, Kalicki with three or four, five years maybe more driving experience. 900s up, bronze medalist here last year. Lisa Bookwitz was fifth. I'm set, it's not hard to imagine. We'll get two, possibly even three German sleds on the podium here. Have not had a German winner though since Sandra Kyriasis 13 years ago. 56 5 1. All right, Kalicki is our new race leader. Leads by 41 hundreds. That is a big margin over Lisa Bookwitz. And again, these two, Kim Kalicki and Leonie Fiebig, have been such a powerhouse combination together. The speed of Cologne-based athlete Leonie Fiebig on the back gives Kalicki everything she needs. 31 previous races, 27 World Cup medals for Kalicki. There's Fiebig. <laughs> All right, sending love back home to Cologne. She's wearing the red and white on the socks as ever, and the gloves. Now then, Alana Myers-Taylor, one of three former driving winners. Alana Myers-Taylor, two-time winner on this track with Emily Renner behind her, her m and m back together. Ninth World Cup start for Emily Renner. Seven World Cups driving here for Alana now. All podium positions apart from on her debut. Two wins here, and she also has medals here as a brake woman. So her first appearance, she got a bronze medal, a silver medal rather, in the Worlds in 2009 with Shauna Roebuck, who's down at the bottom of the track helping out with the coaching. Well, third place at the start, third place still on the splits. Ooh. Big trouble in little chicane. She's kind of late everywhere, Alana. It's going to be good enough for second, but how far? No, it's not. Third place at the line, fourth of the line, behind Adele Nickel by 400s. We still have one more German sled to go, Lara Nolte. We've still got Keisha Love, Brianna Walker, Sylvia Hoffman. There's Shauna Roebuck there. Well, 57-02 for Alana Myers-Taylor. There's a few errors in there. The chicane was not kind to her. Gets a skid going in and skid coming out as well. It's valuable 10 gone. Emily Renner in the white helmet. One more run to go. Let's see if Alana can grab a medal. Melanie Hatter with Mara Morel. Mara in her 11th World Cup start. Mel, this is her 29th. Only raced here once, sixth place last December beginning of last season, December 22, that is, not December 23, which, of course, is last December now, from the viewpoint of being in 2024, you idiot. Sixth place here, best result in the World Cup, still the medal in La Plan early in the season. It's the season opener for the women's bobsleigh. 5.57, only 300s off the fastest start or off the leader's start. That's a really good start. Only 800 slower than Lisa Bookwitz and Lauren Siebert. That's a very quick getaway from the Swiss duo. Second best velocity. Not too bad from eight to nine through Shady two. Third best speed, still a top three run from Melanie Hassler. Oh, 
huge skid in the chicane. Second best speed going in there. That's not going to move her up into the top three. How close is she to third place? Fifth, 57.09. She was on for third until that huge skid in the chicane. But she comes down 700s behind Alana Myers Taylor there, fourth and fifth. Alana in her 95th Women's Bobsleigh World Cup race. 15 on the brakes. So today is Alana's 80th as a driver. Bearing in mind there are eight World Cups in a season and she's had a couple of seasons out to be a mum. That is some career. Huge skid. Mel just lets it come back to her. And then double tap going uphill from 19 to 20, adding insult, insult to injury. Now then, what about Brianna Walker with Chiara Rodingius? Yesterday, Brianna took her first ever World Cup gold medal in the monobob to the joy of coach Pierre Luders and ecstasy for Brianna and her break woman, Chiara Rodingius, who was down there to tell her. 24th women's bobsleigh start for the driver, 13th for the break woman. 5.59 getaway, that's right in there swinging. Fourth at the start. Not getting the live speed, yes we are off the sled, seventh best speed. But she's only 1,700 back. Little rocking and rolling in the Devil's Highway. Managed to escape eight and nine without too much drama. Rattles through 12 and 13. Needs a good chicane. Pretty decent, six best speed. Looks like a top six run if she can keep it clean. Out of 19, up to the finish line. And she does, top five, no, six at the line, 57 to eight. Seventy-seven hundreds back, ahead of Cynthia Beer, Bianca Ribby and Riley Dejek. Three monobob races here in March 2023 and a couple of weeks ago in women's bobsleigh. That's her experience of this track. But in equal equipment yesterday, everybody in Monobob using the same Bavarian built Xen sled. She beat them all. She's got a strong start and she knows how to get the most out of a mono. Now then, here's a little bit of a wild card potentially. Keisha Love, seventh. World Cup race of her career, nine as a break woman, won last year here, breaking for Kaylee Humphreys, Kaylee's sixth World Cup win, plus a World Championship. Azaria Hill behind her, fifth World Cup start for Azaria, only her eighth race ever though, 5.53 getaway, big start, and Keisha Love rocked women's bobsleigh in La Plana, the season opener, came out her first World Cup as a driver, her first season as a full-time driver, and she won the opening race of the season. And that was not, that was in the monobob, it was not in the women's bob, but she took a bronze medal in Lillehammer after winning the monobob race the day before. It shows that when she's on a track that she's got some knowledge of, then she can be a real force. Second fastest start. Whoa, in trouble there, though. Fourth place run at the moment. Can she grab third from Adele Nickel? Not quite. Sticks at the line. Well, she won both NAC races a couple of weeks ago, Keisha Love. Smile on the face of Shauna Roebuck. 
And the US must be very pleased with the way that Keisha Love has hit the ground running in monobob and women's bobsleigh this year. And with the potential from Sylvia Hoffman as well. Sylvia, like Keisha, a former brake woman, learning to drive well. That was a wild ride for Sylvia, uh, for Keisha rather, and Azaria Hill. Next up, Andrea Greco and Theodora Vlad. Andrea, fourth World Cup here, raced here in 2016, 2017, and then December 2019. Best result here, seventh place in that December 2019 race. Theodora Vlad, 21st World Cup start for women's bobsleigh for her. They start 5.71. This is Andrea's 46 World Cup race as a driver, her 63rd in total. And right now, of the eighth best start, slipping away a little to ninth place. And again, down to 10th place on the split. She's not in her regular sled, she's in a rented sled, but it does look like it's another BTC. It may not be doing exactly what she's expecting. You have to adapt sometimes. Across the line in 10th, 57.53. Theodora Vlad, by the way, 21st Women's Bobsleigh World Cup. Her first ever Bobsleigh World Cup, though, was in a four-man back in Koenigsegg in January of 2018. Since then, no more four-man escapades. It is still Kim Kilicki from Lisa Bookwitz and Adele Nickel lying in third. 11 sleds into our 15 field. And here is Lauren Alter, last year's silver medalist, the Olympic women's bobsleigh champion and the silver medalist in this year's world championship. 28 medals in 33 starts, never out of the top six except for when she crashed out in Segulda a couple of seasons ago. Claudia Schusler behind her, second World Cup start for her 27-year-old great woman, made her debut in Segulda in February this year, where they got a silver. 5.63 getaway, Nolta always in the frame. Silver medalist last year behind Kaylee Humphreys, that was her first medal on this track. Only her second race here. Not a bad looking top part of the track, but she's losing speed as well. Fifth best velocity. She's only in eighth place on the splits of the seventh fastest start. Started the same time, 5.63 as Adele Nickel, who currently lies in third place. Second best speed, here we go. Up to seventh on the splits. Top six, top five, top four it is, 57 dead. So she sneaks in ahead of Alana Myers-Taylor, 200 behind Adele Nickel. Well, who would have predicted that at the end of the first heat, it's Great Britain's Adele Nickel who is preventing a German one, two, three. I would have had money on Alana being in there. Maybe Keisha Love. Maybe Cynthia Appiah. You would think that it would have been Alana potentially to break up the German domination. As it turns out, fresh spritz and a good run from Adele Nickel means that she is in third place at the moment, denying an all German podium. Start draw number 13, 50th World Cup start in women's bobsleigh for Catty Bile. 
so pleased to have her back this season. The 30-year-old raced here in the NAC in December 2019, the World Cup as well, 12th in both of those World Cup races. Hannah Schenk, whose 30th birthday was on Tuesday. Anna, in her ninth World Cup start, her fourth as an Austrian, having done five for Italy. But she also started a four-man race for Austria a couple of weeks or a couple of months back now. She was in the four-man with Marcus Treichel. Wasn't her first four-man race either. Nice lines from Katy Bile. I was glad to see the back of the monobob yesterday. Ninth at the start, still in ninth place. Chasing down Keisha Love, but only the 12th best speed. Not great. Still inside the top 10. Clean to the line. Ninth place it is, 57-3-6. Yeah, trying to remember now which of uh, Marcus Treichel's crew it was that pulled up lame on race day, and Anna Schenk went, yeah, I've done four, man, I'll get in. And she did, <laughs> so they raced and successfully. I'm trying to think now, that Innsbruck? I think it might have been. Well, not a bad looking run through the chicane. Gets a little early tap and a very slight late tap. Not too bad at all. And that helps carry the speed. Ooh. One more to go. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? They love this sport so much. They're desperate to leave. Get it done. I think they're all cold now. Penultimate sled in this first heat is Victoria Chinanska from Slovakia with Lucia Makrosova behind her. These two have come up through the ranks together into the World Cup together and they both celebrate their 10th World Cup start. Lucia will be 29 next Wednesday. Victoria just 21 years of age. Raced here before in the NAC in November 2023. World Cup best result, ninth place finishes in Altenburg and Sigulda. All a little wave from one to two. Yeah, the ice crackling under the runners. Again, this is a rental. Lots of BTC sleds are being sold, so you find them across the pond as well as in Europe. And with a cost of getting close to $20,000 to slip a share, a, ship a sled to and fro, makes no financial sense to do that if you can rent one. Victoria Chinanska. 14th at the start, will be 14th at the bottom of the run. Sounds like something chattering away under the sled, not quite sure what the odd noise was. But her first women's bob race run down the track. Didn't look too dramatic either. Here's one of the carbon fiber pads that go around the outside of the bunks of the sled to uh, protect it from impact or during impact. They don't stop it hitting, they just protect the sled a bit. And uh, often those have little travel covers on. Normally they're gaffered on around the outside. It looks like one of them, <laughs> in these cold conditions, tape wasn't good enough. Final sled then is for debutante Sylvia Hoffman with Sydney Milani behind her. Sydney, 24, making a second World Cup start. Olympic bronze medal winning great woman Sylvia Hoffman makes her debut as a women's bobsleigh driver in the World Cup. Two monobob starts and six NEC women's bobsleigh races here. She's been learning to drive in the last 18 months. Little flop off two, tap out of three using one of the old uh, BMW sleds.
middle late, eight to nine. Now she's got time to recover through Shady two and down into the labyrinth. 12 to 13, not too bad. Fourth best at the start. Taps and skids through the chicane. 12 best speed into the heart. Oh, a little late. 17 into 18. Hold it together, Sylvia. Coming up through 20, across the line in 14th place. She makes her World Cup debut, Brian Scheimer. Oh, baby. Well, it was a little wild. But you've got to remember that a couple of years ago, Sylvia Hoffman was still in the back of sleds, has been learning to drive over the last season and a bit. Made her monobob debut and now makes her women's bobsleigh debut. USA with four sleds in the field here in Lake Placid. Sydney Milani, second World Cup start, made, it, made her debut in Segulda with Alana Byers-Taylor. Well, our first heat leader is Kim Kalicki with Lenny Fiebig. They have an enormous margin, 41 hundreds up. World Championship bronze medalist. They've only been off the podium once this year. That was seventh place in Samarit. Track is clear to start one. <laughs> and they have a very handy lead. And then the dogfight behind. Look, from Bookwitz, 4100s, Nickel, Nolta, Myers Taylor, Hassler. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. That's the battle for silver and bronze. Keisha Love, I think, probably out of it, 6,500s back. Brianna Walker behind her. Then Katy Bile, Cynthia Pia, and our debutante, Sylvia Hoffman, in 14th spot. She'll be looking to tidy up her act a little in the second run in the final heat of the season. Join us to see how it all pans out. Will we have the first German winner since Sandra Kyriasis took her 10th picture here in 2011? Let's find out at 11.30 Eastern, 15.30 GMT, 16.30 CET. We'll see you then.